This is Total Outdoor Programming. Well, here we are on our next trip. Heading down to Texas with Slim Shady over here. Gonna do a little bit of hog hunting. Should be fun. Couple deer mounts going down to some customers in Texas and they have a pig problem and we are gonna try and help them out. Right, Slim? All right, well, we got one Texas pig on the ground. Didn't get any good video because it happened after dark, happened quick, but hey, glad we got one. So here he is, good, nice eating size, and we'll get to work skinning him out. Well, it's day number two. We ended up getting a hog last night. It was after dark, though. So we weren't able to film it. Down here in Texas, you're allowed to hunt hogs with artificial light, and you're allowed to use bait and everything. They just want these hogs gone. So we had a bait stand set up, had a spotlight, we had some hogs come in. It ended up getting a good shot. So glad that we got some pork in the freezer. We had a pork come in, and he tried to get it, but 
just he never cleared that fence. I think the problem though was that when I watched the tape again, he came right to where I set one of the cameras. As soon as he hit the spot where I was standing, he bolted. So I think we didn't cover our scent good enough. Today we went ahead and made a homemade recipe because it's Sunday and there's no sporting goods stores in this area that are open. So we looked up a recipe for a homemade scent killer spray and we're going to try it out. Here's the recipe right here. If you guys want to watch it, just click to watch this video and we'll test it tonight and see how it works. You going to try and get that hog again? I'm going to try. Hopefully he clears the fence or maybe a bigger one will come out today. What are you going to do with a hog if you shoot that big old boar? I'm going to have a good taxidermist work on it for me. She's going to mount that one.
today he hit the spot where we walked through with our homie Sam Keller and he kind of picked up a little bit and got nervous and started to run off and came right back in and didn't scare him. So I, I'd say that's probably a thumbs up. I think it works pretty good. So got pick number two down and uh, he's a nice one. He's a big one compared to last night. What do you think? Good pig? All right. Yeah, let's see. You got a good shot right on right here. Well, here we are, back on the road again. Had a great time down in Texas. A lot of fun hog hunting. We ended up getting one hog apiece. I missed one right at the very end of the last night. We didn't get that on film because it would have been embarrassing. So, anyways, it was a lot of fun. She got a nice big hog. Got the coolers on the back, packed with meat, ready for a fun trip home. Texas was really cool, you know. It's quite a bit different from what we're used to, so it was fun to go down and see something like that. I don't know, the more that we stayed here, it just kind of felt like it was rubbing off on us somehow. I don't know, something seems different, but we just feel a little more at home here in Texas lately. Fit in a little bit better. Fit in a little bit better for some reason, I don't know. I highly recommend if you ever get a chance, come down here and try it. It's a lot of fun and they're good eating too. So anyways, thanks for checking in and watching the videos. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the lines below. And as always, keep subscribing and we'll keep more videos coming for you. Thank you.